the Echo, the TV, the One Pro. Yeah. All you need to do is to download the link in the description below and then to open this file here. So first step then is to install this Qualcomm driver here as I show you. Here's the setup, so you need to click here, double click here to set up and yes to install the Qualcomm driver. Then we need to wait a few minutes. I accept and then click install. After this Qualcomm driver is installed, we click here finish and then we can close this file here. And next step is to open this platform tools. There are four files you have to copy paste. So we will paste it here. as I show you. If you have done this, then the next step would be to double click this fast boot here to start this one here. So as you can see here now, they are waiting for any device. This is a signal for to open the smartphone. To do that, we need to Press the volume rocker and the power button together, as I show you here now. Then this symbol here will appear and then you need to fix it with the USB cable, connect it with the USB cable and then wait for the flashing, the new firmware. This will take another few minutes, so take a coffee and take a rest and wait for the process.
So now as you can see the process is finished here. This is the signal for to disconnect the USB cable with your smartphone. And that also means that the newest firmware is also already flashed on your smartphone. After another five minutes roundabout, the smartphone will start to restart again. Select your language, we will select the English United States. Continue insert SIM card, we do not have so we skip. Select a wireless network, we also skip. Google services, next. Terms of use, user agreement, privacy policy and continue. Continue, continue, and continue. We click finish. Now here you can see the result of the newest firmware, which is also the original firmware for the Le TV Le One Pro. Yes, this is how it looks like. It comes also with the Google Play Store, as you can see here. And if we open the settings, we can see about phone, under about phone that um, we have Android 5.0.2 and UI version 5.5011S, which is the original UI version of this smartphone. So everything is fine here now and everything is working here now.